Hi, my name is Leo Lucetti. Um, I'm originally from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And right now at Fordham, I'm studying business analytics. Um, and I'm also working as a data analyst in Analyte, which is a part of Omnicom Media Group. For my master's, I did my bachelor's degree in the University of Tampa. Um, it was a major in management and a minor in psychology. Um, and I worked, also worked in the nonprofit industry as an operations intern, which kind of led me to also uh, be a little bit more interested in, in specializing myself, uh, which is one of the reasons that I came to Fordham. When I studied at the University of Tampa, uh, as I said, I did my, my bachelor's degree in management, where I learned a lot about one main thing that I really uh, focused on that degree was my communication skills. So I took even an entire class in speech. So I, I, I really learned how about you know public speaking and being a good communicator and being a good leader. So those are the things that I learned on that program. But when COVID hit, I graduated in May 2020. So that was like the, the peak of COVID. Uh, the job market was tough. I'm an international student, so it was twice as hard for me to find anything. And that is a very unspecialized field, not, not very technical. And so what I thought was uh, specializing myself and really getting technical in this period of COVID is a really good opportunity so that when you know COVID stops, when the market goes, goes back to being good again, um, I have a great opportunity for me um, to be able to find jobs if I find opportunity. And business analytics was where I found that way that I wouldn't just ignore everything that I learned in my bachelor's degree. I, was, I would be able to leverage all that stuff and still use that for you know, to communicate results and to, and to be able to um, um, use, use my data and presentation and really be able to use my communication skills, but also specialize myself and make myself more, more marketable. So that business analytics was that, was that point in the middle where I was specialized enough, uh, too specialized to ignore everything in the past, and also not specialized enough to, to not get a job. So that was kind of like the point in the middle where I could leverage both sides of things. The first thing that's important to say is don't be scared. A lot of the students that enter the program, they're, they're freaking out. Oh, I don't know coding. I've never, you know, run one SQL query. You don't have to. This program is also, again, one of the reasons I chose this program is because you didn't, you didn't need to know anything about coding to join the program, which is amazing. And so this program with the span of a year, a year and a half, it turns you into somebody who's never seen a coding language, doesn't even know what that is, to somebody that can conduct, you know, unsupervised learning, machine learning, something like, which I didn't even know what it was before I, I got into the program, you know? So the program really teaches you how, how to do that, how to, how to code, how to use SQL, how to be nice visualization. So it, it's kind of that, that thing that I said, it's not as specialized as, you know, computer science, um, but still not, you know, like a management degree in business. It's, it's something right in the middle. So you, you're expected to learn all the skills to, to learn how to, how to manipulate data and how to use it for, for to gather specific insights and also how to communicate that, which is really important. I think you become like a very well-rounded person in the world of data where you can get, you know, the, the rawest of information and, and, and rawest of data forms and really learn how to develop that into very useful insights through, you know, presentations and visualization. So I think it's a very um, complete program that really prepares you for the job market. So as I said, the market was really tough when I graduated and, and I thought the best opportunity at that moment was to specialize. You know, I, I think that, um, uh, as I said, especially for an international student, we have a lot of different timelines that, you know, when, when you graduate, you need at least like three months to get a job. Um, there's a lot of different uh, different uh, limitations when, when, you're, when you're studying in the U.S. as an international student. And I thought that uh, at that point, I needed to make myself more marketable than ever. And specializing was the really way to do it. So that's when I started looking for for um, different majors and then different different master's degrees. And eventually, I found Fordham's, and along with a lot of other ones. And I eventually, I chose Fordham. The one thing about Fordham that it, it's hard to not say um, it's a location. Even though things are working, a lot of the students that I that were in my master's actually weren't even at in New York because of you know visa restrictions and things like that. Um, the location really does matter, even even in the remote environment. Uh, I met a lot of people here, you know, through just bumping into people on the, on the street or just like that one class that we had in person. And you make very good connections that eventually lead, lead you to, to an interview and, and, you know, even a job. And the, I got two job offers for the summer for internships and both were through connections, you know, so uh, the location still does matter. And more importantly, um, I, I think that the, the forum community is, is, is is very welcoming in the sense that they're very willing to, the faculty, alumni, everybody's very willing to make conversation with you. They're interested in you. Um, when, when I was networking find jobs, I think most, if not all of the Fordham alumni that I try to connect with on LinkedIn helped me out. Like they, they accepted invitations, they, they had a good conversation. They set up some of their time to even talk to me for like a 30 minute call. And in turn, when I did that with people that were not alumni, um, that was rarely the case. So uh, the community is something that I really wanted to highlight. I actually talked to somebody uh, who did her, her bachelor's degree at Fordham. 
And this is something she told me that is very important about the Florida community. Like the classes are smaller, you get, you know, you get connected with your professors, you, you make close connections with students. Um, and that's something that was really, really important to me. I was entering a new field of coding that I had never seen before. And I was ultimately scared to just, you know, hop in. Like I, I wasn't sure I was going to fall behind or, or succeed. And, and having that community was something that really emphasized how, you know, I would be able to succeed and I would have to people, I would have people to back me up in case anything happened. So they really made me sure that, you know, that was the right decision. I think that being an international student in the U.S. presents a lot of challenges, but also a lot of opportunities. I think that, um, of course, the job market is tougher. Um, not everybody is willing to sponsor a visa. So there's a lot of challenges that that, that happens along the way. Um, but I think that really teaches you to be a self-starter. It's really dedicate yourself to go above and beyond. You know, I, I, I really believe that if I, if I was American and born and raised in the U.S., I would have pushed myself as hard as I did through the years, to my bachelor's and to my master's. You know, like I, um, for example, at Fordham, a lot of our projects are very open-ended. You know, you can do whatever you want and just get that A, or you can really go above and beyond and really, you know, impress your professor and make good connections um, and do something that you can even you know, continue after the class and just continue that project on, you know, and I, and I think that um, the fact that, yes, the job market is a little tougher for, for international students, that really pushed me to really be, try to be better than everybody in the sense of, you know, really doing ambitious projects and, and, and continuing those projects after the class and even doing more projects on the side. I think that's something that um, I really emphasized through, through my entire education here in the U.S., which um, I believe I probably wouldn't have done if I wasn't an international student. So that, that's looking at the positive side of things. I think exactly that, the fact of how, how open-ended, how open-ended everything is in a master's degree. It's like everybody says that, you know, when you go to college, that there's not going to be hand only, like your teacher's not going to care if you do the homework or not. Um, in, in your master's is even further with that, with, with the sense of that grades really, really, really don't matter. Like you can, you can get A's uh, without, you know, going through great lengths of effort and, you know, really killing yourself and then spending a lot of time in homeworks and assignments. Um, but you're paying money for that master's degree, right? And it's really your choice how much you want to get from it. So um, as I said, projects are very open-ended. Even some homeworks are open-ended to the sense that there's no right or wrong answer. You know, the, they want you to apply some some kind of specific con uh, uh, aspect or or concept into wherever you want to do it. As long as you, you prove knowledge, you can apply that concept. So you can apply that concept to something simple, something that people have already done and will continue to do for years. Or you can try to do something novel, something that's really going to impress the professor, um, which you also might develop into a good connection with it, right? So I think that that's something that really surprised me and really gave me a lot of opportunity to dedicate myself and differentiate myself and really uh, make the program program worth, you know, like, as, as I said, you you pay that amount and it's a specific amount. You can get everything you want from it, you, can, you know, just just the, the, the basic uh, package, I would say. So it's, it's really it's really up to how much you want from it, so, which is really cool. I think it really taught me how to be a self-starter. And I say that because right now I'm working full time at Analect and uh, looking back at my experience in, in at Fordham, I really think that this this idea of, of open endedness and, and, you know, really dedicating yourself translated to my job. And, and what I mean by that is that, you know, even in your job, there, there are points where you're not, you know, extremely busy and doing 10 different things. Obviously, there are times that you are, but in the times that you're not, it, it's it's also good to use that time and 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 use those opportunities to, to really also, you know, start your own projects and brainstorm ideas. And I think that Fordham really taught me how to do that, you know, like how to really get the best out of any opportunity. And now, now at my job, I really see myself doing that. And, and if I'm trying to relate that to any sort of experience in my life, it was definitely because of my master's degrees. I would say, um, be patient. The, the, the first thing that I would say, um, I think that, as I said, a lot of students get nervous when joining the program, and, I, and obviously there's a learning curve there for you to, you know, be used to coding, um, learn some intuitiveness that is just natural to coding and to, to being uh, in a technical field. So be patient and also use that nervousness that you're getting, that stress for your own favor, you know? So for example, when I was joining the program, I, I had that stress. Uh, I was really nervous about, you know, falling behind and things like that. And so what I did was, um, I had some free time and I used that to do my own projects on the side, you know, like I actually communicated with one of the one of the other students in the program that I got close with through time. And we would do our own projects in our free time while we weren't actually studying or working or doing anything else. So I think that you need to pace yourself, you need to understand um, your own limitations and, and your own learning curve, but also um, use that stress for your own favor, right? Like, so actually dedicate yourself to go above and beyond and to really do projects on the side and things that are going to help you smooth out that learning curve as much as you can. So don't don't freak out, but also don't, you know, just lay back and wait for things to happen. <music>